Well, hey everybody, this is Rockin' Spirit coming to you live, aka Jen. Oh, today is cloudy and rainy. Oh, don't you just love May? May showers, wow. They bring a lot of growth, I'll tell you. Awesome to see everything blooming and the gardens growing. And this is the season for toiling and planting and um, just tending to things that need to be done in the spring for great yields in the fall. And so with that, what I'd like to talk to you today is about being idle. If you're idle, nothing comes from that but emptiness. And all things that produce something have to have attention. And if you give no attention, you gain no yield. And if you give great attention, you yield even more. And so with that, I want to speak to women specifically. And that is on the value of the woman's work with her hands and what that does in a family's life. And God called woman into a great position. The Bible even suggests that the success of her husband is due to the industrious ways of a woman and that she helps her husband become the best that he can be spiritually and also as a way of a leader and a provider in the home. She makes him available with her works to do his best work in his role. And sometimes that's just played out in a woman doing the toiling around the house and in their life and for their family so that it frees him up to do his labor as a man and a provider and an overseer and to be successful in that. Um, and for like my role in my family is I keep busy trying to do all the household labors and the labors for the children and getting errands done so that my husband's free to work on the projects that he has dreams for provision for the family. And when I take the menial tasks off the table for him, it allows him to be able to have the freedom to be industrious for provision and for keeping the family running properly and uh, being guided. But sometimes there can be a tragedy with that and that is when the woman's work and efforts are not being praised by her family. They take advantage and they don't open their eyes to see her role and what that offers them in their life and the choices that are given to them as a result of the woman taking on a very broad and vast role in her family. And when a woman is not looked at as being a blessing and her work is not worth value in the home because she's not out earning a living bringing the actual dollar in, well, that's a double-edged sword. You can't have it both ways. You can't have a woman in a biblical role staying home tending to the needs of her family and then give her no credit and call her work worthless because she's not being backed up by a dollar. What she's actually doing is saving the family money by working in the home and taking charge and care and investing her time, labors, her skills into saving the family money from going out and buying products that other people have made. So, and you know, hiring people to clean your house and to do your errands and to cook your food and do the laundry, you know, hiring a maid. When a woman does that in her family, she saves a lot of money for her family. And her labors are worth a dollar. They're worth many dollars. They're, she holds a lot of hats. And if she got paid individually for all those different hats, 
she would be earning probably more money than a man going out working a nine to five job in the regular workplace. And often women are not given any credit for that and they're, they're reduced down to, well, what do you do with all your time in your day? You're not bringing in the money, I am. And so that's a very sad place to be for a woman when she knows her value and God confirms that to her and nobody else is noticing or seeing or cares or qualifies it as meaningful and valuable. And I'm here to tell you as a woman, I know the value. And just because somebody else's eyes are dim and how they assess things and your worth and your time, you don't have to receive that. Just pray that their eyes would be open and they, they would understand. But God understands because he set it up and he knows the toils of a woman and that she should be praised by her family. If she's not sitting around on her hiney doing absolutely nothing and she's up and she's diligent from sun up to sundown, she should be praised. And I'm here to praise you women that are not being acknowledged for your work and your efforts. You are worthy to be praised and the Bible says so. So with that, be blessed. Keep working hard for your family. You are worth something. Your time is worth something. And you are credited and valuable. God bless and make it a great day.